Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We'll play more Baron Breakfast. We have to read trash to our name. Okay, that's good. That's great. Hopefully, we get more trash. Oh, the bathroom fix themselves. Oh, look at that trash right here. Love. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's some trash hiding right there. Okay, let's talk to this sign. See what we get. Is the job complete? Yeah. Congratulations, you have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. Ooh, we got a walk. Um. Oh, it shows me exactly what time. That's cool. Oh, another mission for the sign. Further improvements available. Okay. Complete stay for 10 get 300 coins? I guess we'll do it. That's not great. Let's see, how many people are leaving tomorrow? Um, a bunch of people. Let's go talk to Granny, see what Granny says. You're making your way all over the place, aren't you? Sorry, I barely got here and you're right on track. That's right, old lady. You better watch your back or I might build you a bedroom. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> you seem to have made it. There's a little concrete island. Arguably an oasis worse than the desert is saving you. This place used to host all sort of people, mostly those without a lot of time on their hands. One of them, a sailor, a captain I should say, a father to three strong boys. He had a lot of unexpected stops to make. Some would say his work was hectic, hostage to the wishes of the sea. He would make the stop so often that he'd have a regular room all to himself. One could wonder. Perhaps why his room would also come with regular guests all to himself. <laughs> I tried swimming once. It went poorly. Haha! <laughs> I suppose when the boss of the sea follows you, even ashore, you curl up to any ember you can find. He kept the books of all the maritime travels. He even showed it to me once. It was his pride and joy. The schedule, like clock, clock the coordinates, the ships, and their names. It was so fascinating that I couldn't help myself. He stretched it under a word. And he never saw it again. And neither did I. <laughs> Why? I came back here with fine hope that the chaos spared his little book. But there was nothing but rubble and dust. Not even a standing wardrobe to look under. If you happen to come across an old leather book, do an old lady a favor, would you? And we got it. So that was some crap. That we complimented. Oh my, what is this? There you go. You know, I never used to see any animals like you just roaming around. We were lucky to hear birds some days. Now you all seem to be running all, all over the place. Not that I'm complaining. You're probably more qualified anyway. And you seem you seem like you're getting things back into shape. This road used to be full of cars and buses. People chasing other people's problems. Or sometimes their own, but rarely. You never had time to look after yourself. Oh, there I go again. Babbling to a bear. What happened to all the people? If only you could blab her back and keep an old lady company. I seem to have fallen out of practice with it. Keep it company. But I'm not here to throw a pity party. There's hardly enough booze for that. Thank you. Now do you excuse me? I have a long walk ahead of me. 
Hi, Grandma. We're just gonna watch her walk away. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, mister. I figured something must have gone down south. Too many folk out of nowhere. That damn shark got people coming in droves. I've got to keep an eye out on the dam near the lake. So the very up to high lake is open. You make your way up there. Look me up. I know the place inside and out. It's just a random person walks by too. Ooh. I like in dark grove. I want 14 items. I'm sorry guys, we just don't have that. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. We'll go to the other place. Oh yeah, garbage. Then we'll go to the other place. go to the scrapyard, but we'll do that later. It's a bit of a, an adventure. Oh, thanks for all the scrap there. Okay, there's a mission here. Further improvements available at this location. 150 coins. Not great, but I'll do it. And we already did it. Okay. Just the job complete. Yeah! Oh, another mission. Get three five star reviews. A special trinket that will put some pep in your step. Ooh, yeah. Okay. That's easy enough. Uh, I don't really want to grab that wood. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't have to do anything to get this wood. Don't have to blast anything open. That's good. Hi, Lake. Well, I never. Look who waddled their way up the windy road. I would call it more of a wobble. Welcome to High Lake. Now I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Oh, there's zero chance for that. Hey Fluffy, good to see ya. I'm doing good. Um, I'll only be on for probably like an hour and a half. But I'm doing good, I'm doing good. But this used to be the prettiest place to spend a summer in. The soft wave of the trees and the wind, the calmness of the water. No wonder the captain built his vacation right here. I remember it had the most amazing garden. You could see it from the dam. Obviously, you weren't allowed anywhere near the place. You should check it out. It's just up the dirt road. I'm sure there's some fruit or something you can eat along the way. That is your main occupation, right? Eating fruit? I would never limit myself to just fruit. I'm going over the dam to my outpost. I'll see you around. Cool. Hopefully there's a cool building we can uh, build here. It's pouring rain though. So. Okay. It says Captain's Estate. Maybe we can turn his house into a... Uh, one of the buildings. There's trash everywhere. This is great. Ooh, fuel. I don't know what fuel is for. Hmm. Let's see if I can change that. Give me one sec. 
Oh, I'm gonna get a bus. Okay, how is that? My, am I a little bit louder? It's better. Cool. Thank you. Thank. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go back down first and get a bus. That way we can fast travel here. Ooh, there's apples. Thanks, apples. There's no point to not fix the bus stops, because we fast travel a lot. <laughs> and yeah, we just unlocked this road up top by doing those missions. More trash, that was good. We only had three to our name, so we did a whole bunch. Here, I guess I'll buy a few bus stops. Do they stack? They do. Mission-wise, they're pretty easy. You just have to get 10 guests and then get three five-star reviews. If we get the three five-star reviews, it says we'll get something that will make us faster, so that'll be cool. But I also just got this watch, and it tells me exactly what time it is now. Kind of useful, but it's not like it really mattered what time of day it was. Cool. That's all fixed up. Easy enough. Oh yeah, this is a big thing. Cool. Okay. Can't really do anything yet. I will fix this up. Cool. I'll go talk to this. It's like a goat we have to go talk to. Oh, there's a farm here. Oh wow. Oh yeah, someone lives here. No, this is the last time. You are not taking anything from the garden. Please, there's barely anything left. And the potatoes aren't even in season. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to bark. Oh, you didn't? Well, you did anyway. I'm sorry. Oh, no, um, I didn't mean to come off that way. I'm sorry. You just had to look for food elsewhere, somewhere else. Hey, I'll never say no, no, no to a warm, glistening potato. That's not why I'm here. Oh, of course. That was so stupid of me to assume. That's not even close to stupid. I'll tell you what. I'm Hank. I live in this thicket with my mom and two best buds. It's nice to meet you, Hank. I'm Julia. I don't get a lot of visitors. Well, I do, but they usually don't talk. They just take. <laughs> and I don't have a lot left, left to give up. I'm not here to take anything. The opposite, actually. <clears throat> Always caught by surprise, Julia the goat was the only remaining resident in this huge estate. She seemed very invested in her vegetable garden, but the rest of the property didn't concern her as much. The intense aroma coming from her house signaled a knack for cooking, a hunch reinforced by Hank's rumbling tummy. Ooh, I wonder if she can uh, become a cook at that restaurant we had. I was wondering if this old house was occupied. I think it could use a fresh coat of paint. Well, it used to be. I guess not anymore. No one's been inside the old captain's shack in ages. Do you mind if I take a look? No, but only if you don't mind not going anywhere near my garden. Yeah, we won't touch your garden, don't worry. So this is her house. Her house looks pretty awesome. I guess we won't touch your garden, for now. The pot is the shard. Hello, shard. Enjoy today! You can't pay your debt from the grave. But your children can. Dad, all their houses look so adorable. Like it's... Ah, oh, like come on! How'd you get your house so nice? 
Hello, voice box person. I'm ready to get my hands dirty again. Be part of the next exciting enterprise. Exciting escape. I like your fine. Hey, we've been through this already. Aren't you the same shark? Individualism does not make the cogs turn faster. I think there's a bag missing. It's wind speed. Welcome to High Lake, the Amber Jewel, the Pride of the Valley, the Great Depression. And we're talking sunken landforms, not for your reason. Not your reasons for staying in bed. Someone's in a mood. The Golden Plateau, in geological terms, of course. Not your late teens. All right now. The captain's estate is a perfect destination for a premium development. The quaint family-centric farmhouse is ideal for hosting dozens of loud, unfamiliar strangers. As always, a, re a regrettable minimum standard is required to open this location. Okay, we're gonna have to go uh, clean up all the stuff inside. Yes, we'll repair it. Clear out all the debris. Easy enough. Ooh, we got some nails. We need a lot of nails. Oh, it looks like there's a downstairs? Or is this an upstairs? Ooh, there's two floors. That's cool. Okay, pick up the rest of the crap. And there's just a wash machine in here. There we go. Gather construction materials. Some bricks, glass panels, iron nails. Ooh, good thing we got those nails. We have just enough. Have all the materials been acquired? Yup. There we go. But it's like dark out, so we can't really see it. <laughs> In the morning, we'll look at it. Add it a little better. Why watch the world through a screen when you can trade it into the real thing? Now accepting trade-ins for high definition electronics. Ooh. So what's next? Humankind has fought many arduous battles. None more impressive than the one against nature itself. A solid roof over our heads and a dry floor to sleep on may become the preferred way of life for many. And the reward for that victory? The opportunity to profit from taking all of it away. I'm learning so much. Ooh, this area supports the development of outdoor facilities. That's Do I get... <laughs> I do get pretty grumpy in the morning. Closed off in a small area with a fence and a gate, of course. As you know, patron health and safety are our main concerns. So any outdoor expansions need to be certified by a forest specialist. Ooh. Cool. Hey, I think I know someone like that. That's cool. Um, maybe we'll split this one. We can see what the house looks like in the daytime. That's a pretty nice house. And it's got two floors. That's cool. So I think we'll go talk to the goat first, and then we'll go talk to that ranger. Oh wow, look at her room. Hello. Wow, that house never looked so clean. Is that a fresh coat of paint? Yes, it is. That's amazing. I've never seen it sparkle like that. What is this place, anyway? I'm still not sure you're not here for my potatoes. But if you really mean it, this is the captain's estate. And that old pile of rust and mold is the farmhouse. Well, it's significantly less rusty and moldy now. It used to be the biggest private property in the valley. The lady captain and the little captain's kids spent every summer here, although he was never with them. He spent most of his time up the hill in the big radio dish building. Oh, there's a big building somewhere along the way. Cool. What made you come up such a long way from home? I met a shark that asked me to help get humans to come back. She's like, what? Are you crazy? <laughs> if you're here to rob me, you don't have to put on a show. No, I mean it. There's people all over the place now. In fact... I think I could help rebuild the farmhouse and get people to stay there again. Listen, Hank, I've got a rug in my house that lies less than you. Wait, I mean it. I'm sure your dolphin friend is waiting. 
He's a shark. Oh, okay. You've convinced me. Really? No. Okay, I can prove it. I can prove that I'm not here to steal. Isn't there anything you need? I could go get it for you. I'm pretty great at that. Hmm, if it means you'll leave, I won't come back without it. Alright, there's a kind of plant that doesn't grow in high lakes. It's called sage. I use it I use it in my teas and tea. It doesn't grow in lakes. You won't find it outside the thicker wood. I suggest you look west of Sawdust. But you shouldn't step foot beyond that barrier. If you had any sense. We certainly don't have to worry about that. There's a new place we can go to. West of Sawdust. Okay. Go to the dark grove and find stage for Julia. Sounds spooky. Can I look in this now? I can. Oh, that's the little garage shop. The garbage shop. Garage. What's this? Herb. Okay. I guess we'll take a uh, bunch of mint. Sure. Bridge here. We'll go across the bridge. Pull that trash. Awesome. Hmm. That's a lot of water. And look, the ground is. Hello. For some people, growing older doesn't come with getting smarter. I want what they have. 